Let's see what we got. Darkseer. Oh, there it is. Darkseer. Okay. So that is no flexibility when it comes to the pointy headed man over there. He's up, up, and away here, and we'll be getting already at that level six. Uh, don't know if he has too much kill potential, but uh, Snaking is coming around the corner to this mid lane, and he is going to go for the kill. X, Torrent, combo. Will it be a full solo kill? Yes, it will. There we go. Ryoya showing uh, the rewards from having that successful laning matchup. That could be a problem now for Envy. As he oh, that was back actually kind of big, because uh, then how the Devour works is like he was actually really close to like digesting it, and so he actually didn't get that bonus 140 gold. It was like just about to pop as well. So it's like not only that death was like really nice, it was like super value, a oh. super value kill. <laughs> Whoa, big kill top lane. Crit able to get the jump onto Moo and takes the Ursa down. Enigma is just naturally a greedy hero, right? And you want to just play the hero how it's meant to be instead of like forcing this like. Position five right now. Trouble for Envy. Mid lane, the boat is back up. X combo and flies here with the Maldic. He is all but dead. Radiant's Boom. Slaps him down, Ryo. We'll score another one. 3 0. Off we go. He, he will survive these things because, especially with the Maldic, he'll be able to do that burst damage. And Ryoya feeling himself, totally looking to snowball up as they now put their attention more so on the bottom, bottom lane, lane jumping in for fear. The Coconut, the Maldic, Fly steps away and says, take over, boys, clean him out. As it's going to be Fly, who does get that last hit onto fear, follow up Envy, top lane, getting the kill onto Crit, but we'll keep focus here at the bottom as they're making the move to clean out Brax. And it's a four on one, so no problem on chopping him down. Ryoya will secure the killing spree and promptly head back to the mid lane and back to the farm, but Envy's got an invis or a smoke. Smoke setup. Bottom lane. He's looking to go a for a doom. A hole. Could be a big kill. The doom big. setup for fear. That's all he had to do. And it allows Envy to. Well, can't find him. Can't find him. Can't get the doom. Oh no. He gets rolled down and Nog is going to make it away. And now the rest of EG come rolling into the neighborhood and they have found Brax and they will blast him down. He does try to surge away. Will another kill just narrowly make it out? He finds a pocket and will TP away. Oh my goodness. He's diving, right? Oh, yeah. Hard go commitment for, for Fear. Looking to go for the finish. He's forced to TP and he will be fine. Oh, wait. Oh. Does not. Get track. The burn. But they have Black Hole. They have Doom. Battle Fury complete on Ursa. It feels like a good time for business. This game's just kind of awkward because it's like Naga, they know Naga and Kunka are having absolute free from right now. Oh, nice sleep here. Look at bottom lane. Yeah, he's sleeping out. I don't know if he saw the TPs at the outpost, but he anticipates an approach from business and totally avoids it. Now EG on their own terms looking to head into the high ground, but it is a bit of a risky position when you're going to such a big team fight like the Black Hole, but they are going to be able to burn apart Fear and take him out without Black Hole. Egg committed as they try to lock down Moo. Great rolls from Crit to lock Moo in his place. They pull him back under the egg and burn him down. <laughs> Head into the Roche. Look to claim an Aegis and have that bit of a leverage. Yeah, but they know Sleep is down, Egg is down, so this is like the best opportunity to actually force it um, and force at least force a fight here. They're inching around though. They still do have the bow and Ryoga charging in through the front door. The wall's gonna be dropped. Moo does manage to grab the Aegis. Business will be successful on that one. Turn around Doom and a slashing onto Kunkka. Would be a wonderful plus one for business. And I think EG made the wrong call to come near the pit. Like you said, they did not have the resources available to take that type of a fight without the song, without the egg. A solid call from business, and we'll see what more they can get from this momentum they're building for themselves. Mid lane, pushing in through this tier one. Egg is now available, but he does use a bit of mana. It's not going to be available now as they try to burst down Brax. They'll be successful on that one. He didn't have the mech available, and now they look to go for Moo. He does still have the Aegis. Naga locked into the river. Does have Song. Can't get it off. Okay. Does get it off, but man, that was a close one. They're turning it around. They're using the potential to get the egg off with a nice time. They lock him. They burst down the Aegis. Can they get him a second time here? Crit moves to the back lines, but here comes Envy approaching back into the fight, and that's where EG pull off. Uh, Ghost Ship is like, wait, it's going to be up every fight, obviously. It's like I'm saying Ru seconds. Rubik has the uh, oh, right, right. stolen oh, yeah. Ghost Ship to use, so let's make some use out of it and get it in this fight. And here it is right here. 
Uh, potential jump for Naga. The run in from Moo. Snake King runs into Ryoya, who pops a new BKB himself. Does walk in through a black hole. They turn their focus on the Ryoya, but there's not enough damage. He turns it back now, and with Envy and Moo tag teaming, they'll finally bring him down on the back end side. The fight continues here. Crit trying to muscle him down, but he gets surrounded and taken apart. Trouble for Ichi here as Fly also falls. They all commence action under the Great Wall of Brax, and it works out beautifully for business. Oh, and Naga still in a bit of trouble here. Purged up. Oh, well, here comes Moo. And he's so damn fast. Look at him go. Run flipping forward. One more hit, he got it. Triple kill for Moo. The egg committed and ineffective. Yeah, they, they feel have a little pressure right now because uh, business has won two fights in a row now, right? They got mm -hmm. the Roshan fight. Uh, the next fight was a stalemate, and then they won this fight. And so they feel obligated to like kind of do something and try to force something. Here. They're creeping in top lane, and it could be a good catch because we're missing some business members. They'd have to TP towards the tier one to get involved with this. So but EG getting stunned up. Snake King will soak up a lot of the damage. They don't quite finish him off yet. Finally, they do move in. They want to get a bit more, though. Yules, as he tries to surge away, nicely timed. Turn around, big vacuum, but there's no wall available. Or maybe it might have just popped up within that second, or they're going to head in. EG, you can look him on the mini-map. All of them <laughs> running that direction now. Torrent's being thrown in. We know you're doing that. Stop it now. Got to look out for the sleep. But he needs to be able to get this boom. You got it? You got it. Back to let go for Ryoya. Goes in. The doom's there. Ryoya trying to walk away. The song not stopping the bear from finishing his dinner. Ryoya goes down. He's out for a minute. Does not have a buyback. Business in total control. Do they want to keep the fight going or go back for Roche? They're going to move forward. They look to go for some, a sashimi treat on Naga, but can't get the finish. They back out the other direction. Come together, Fly committing in the ult and the egg combo. Then they can't decide to go for either side. They're trapped in the middle. The wall gonna be committed right on top of Moo's head and he gets finished. EG, bring the fight back to even here. Rex and Snake King tossing back for Kitrak. EG, step off as EE -E makes his approach with that Shiva's. Fear still has hole, but they don't really have damage anymore. Kunko was dead, Sleep was down. Roshan. Yeah, you could feel their half commitment between. Oh, we, we got him. That's a, that's a big kill now. Do we want to go back for Roche or what? But the fight goes on as the 30 minute mark ticks and bounties come into play. Envy now has to head to the high ground to make the way. The coconut there. Jump in from Fear with the black hole on the two. Will help clear them out. Fear shows up. He's like, I got a blink. And now to the pit. But they have no bear. They have no Ursa yet. And EG, they have uh, Kunkka back. So they're going in. Double buyback. Oh yeah, this is a problem. Five more seconds. Ryoya fending him back. He's got the axe. He's got the torrent storm. They're trying to keep away from the Roche pit if they can. The song comes out. They're hoping to secure it. And they don't have a BKB. This Roche belongs to evil geniuses. Can they get away? Can they get away with this? Spear blinks in, gets the stun. Now EG with the high ground, they turn around with a bow, and they turn around with Crits rolling Boulder through. Locking him down, Fly narrowly oh, able to make it away. Moo charges on, looks to finish off Ryoya, gets to the high ground to make it away while that happens. He clears out another. Snake King yules up, makes it out. Naga so low. But they oh. managed to finish her off. In the meantime, Kid Track will get the finish of Envy. And here comes the second life of Naga. Can they lock her down and damage her up? The split. Here comes Crit though. Oh, the cheese! He survived with the cheese and now moves in a bit of trouble with the egg. Oh, he somehow makes it out. The surge out from Brax and now the heal. Big smoke by DA. I don't know if it's big, I just said. <laughs> it's a so big. It caught, it caught, I say that too, though. It's like it got four people. It's a big one. <laughs> Smoke Rampage. <laughs> oh, e this is an EG, EG, classic EG high ground ward, baiting into the high ground fight. Yeah, now E, E, charging on. BKB wants to focus. The egg going to be committed. Moo running past them all, but he gets stunned up. Will he be able to finish the egg? No, he will not. 
A nice drop of the wall, though. Envy totally burned apart. Naga. He will get totally toasted, but Naga also handled there. Ryoya looking to clean up and move in onto Mu, and Mu runs on out the other side. Crit dashes in. Brax pulls focus back towards the wall yet again. The torrent storm all over the place. Moby Dick for real here as they blast down and get the finish onto Snake King. Did Fly manage to duck out? No, he got taken down. It's a bloody mess in this high ground. Doom very tanky. He even has that little craggy coat kicker. It's kind of, it's kind of sad though, because I mean, Moo really wants uh, the fight here. Yeah, Moo Snake King. Dyer's bottom tower uh, is under likely attack. moving out. He had a couple of wards in his pocket. You know, Fear working his way towards the BKB. Looking nice. Asset to have. They don't have a whole lot that can stop him unless Crit manages to catch a Radiant's side batch or something. Crit does manage to come face to face with fear. Instantly deletes half his life. Now uses the abyssal. Disarms and. Oh, he's a safe. Oh no. Lucky was all. Takes him down. Solo pick off on the side. Nice little catch of the split push. Ready to get themselves back out. Pressure on the ready. Uh oh, uh oh, EG right in the high ground nearby. E, e runs in. I'm not sure if he's able to quite get the Doom off. The wall gonna be committed. There the Doom finally gets off. Back retreat from EG, almost able to slash down Kid Track. He has to commit the egg. Moo, oh, turns around, runs out the other side. He ends up dooming himself, I noticed. He must have hit the Lotus Orb, it looks like. He has a pressure on him, on MV actually. He might do it. There it is. Oh, he holds up though. He gets the Lotus. He does not want to do him yet. Pops the BKB. Him and Moo should be able to take him down. He still has the BKB. Oh, the kid's off. The song is there. The vacuum oh. pullback. Ryo, you're not going to be able to make it away. Now he holds up. He's done for. So close, but not going to be able to make it out. Nice little vacuum cancel from Brax. Yeah, EG, they can't do anything about it. They, they're just frantically timeless. farming elsewhere. <laughs> they're getting timeless relic. It's actually insane what I'm doing. It changes what, the 16 seconds to 20 seconds. Dude. I don't see how EG is really gonna. It's, it's really difficult for them in this situation now because they did have like a what 18k gold lead or so, and now they're down to like uh, BA has uh -oh. a 2k gold lead Ooh. now. EG in their classic high ground positioning here. Here comes Moo charging in. He's got the surge in the ion shell. He gets hit immediately with a nullifier and has to run out the other side. X pulled back, vacuum on the other front. Envy going in, looking to get the doom. Hits it up on the pango. Hit pretty hard and muted. Kid track though from behind, looking to heal it up, but Moo finishes the job, cleans out Crick. Crick gonna be forced to buy back now as Moo chases on, looking to go for Yoya. The wall gonna be committed. The boat to fly out. Still disarmed now. Can't trudge on. The song is oh, there. Cook barely living. Runs out the other side. Fear has the hole. Just wants to clean up Rioja with a right click. Gets it done. Oh, EG scramble to make it away. Business come out on top. Still get the hole. But like they were in, they were preparing for this uh, Mike Turn High Ground Lord. Uh, fortunate enough, like, you know, business was bossed up with their Aegis and just ran uphill. Snake blinking in. Telkinesis pullback vacuum. Fly crush under the power of Moo. Moo gets hit up with a Riptide, but Naga not able to really scratch down the thick skin of this bear. And Moo will hightail it back out from the base, but the Siege goes on, jump back in, now comes out from Envy. Lotus Orb. And Envy's BKB will be finished there. Oh, they know EG's gonna be there, they're gonna see the outpost go down. They're still wagering on trying to, okay, nope, nope, never mind, they're having second thoughts. Not quite enough timing for them to feel confident and safely securing the Roche, but now EG slowly swoop in, still under that smoke. The song gonna be committed. The Doom BKB, he gets it onto Rioya. He's looking to run him down. The heals are coming out from Kitrak where possible as Moose able to trudge on and able to get the finish. Koko will end up falling. Spyback from Stegi. Big fear. All comes out under the wall combo of Brax. It's all business here as they shut them down. Buyback forced out from Naga, but it may be too late. Where's my camera going? Come back to the pit. It's all business all day. Oh my god, beautiful setup right on the staircase. That's it's over. No Kunkka for 50, no Phoenix. She doesn't even have egg. This is it. They're going in all the way. The GG just might be called right here and now.
Wow, what a fight from business. Well played there. And that's it. They'll take game one of this two game series. Wow. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Wow. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that was really, great. Really nice comeback from um, EA. All right, well, with the final pick here and potentially uh, what could be a mid or silent matchup, it's going to be a timber saw grab. Seeing the bristle come out, knowing you can kind of chop away at the, the thick skin of him. They take away the sleep, but they cannot chase on. A uh, bit of a long way to chase, but both supports now show up to the bomb lane, and we're in a try versus try situation suddenly. Yeah, they kind of identified that we can't do anything bristle, so what bristle can do. Oh, just... they got the ward, and they got the hit. Wow. Snaking shows himself. I don't know if he checked the inventory of Kitrak, but he had a sentry ward ready to go as they begin to rumble around for the bounty, and it is going to get snagged up. Now, uh, Brax, who does manage to pick up the bounty, puts a chase on to fly after cleaning out Arteezy. They will claim another. It does cost him his own life at that same moment, though. This just leaves Kitrak in fear. The two top lane supports left at the bottom. Arteezy not feeling comfortable. He's jetting all the way back as there's a strong move coming in from the north. They move in on to fly and make swift work between Moo and Snaking. And we'll finish it out with some pressure onto this tier one tower. We cut to top lane where a jump is happening onto fear. Clean up, easy, easily done there for crit. Beautiful. Arteezy takes that top lane where he knows it's free for some farming and crit goes bottom to try to defend out this tower. But uh, too many wolves, too many necro book creeps. And they will get the last hit on that tower. Envy, a takedown onto Ryoya. It's that one going down the jungle nearby, but we will catch a move on to Envy as Fly gets redemption. Him and Kitrak will pincer in onto the Bristleback, but uh, like we were saying before, Envy continuing to kind of put in work onto Ryoya in particular. And uh, you know, kind of makes things a bit predictable for EG to know if that they're not they, they're not visible in the lanes and on their own side of the jungle, then they're likely tucked away farming up as they make their move onto mid. Possible jump on the fear, but here comes that Wolfman Moo trying to catch a little fly from behind, but a nice Fisher blocks him out. They'll finally be able to clean up fear. And Moo shifts gears. Now puts his focus on the kit track. Moo's able to run out the other side. Envy chases on here. Puts course onto kit track, hits him with the goo, but crit trying to chop him down. Chakram doing a lot of work, and now the impetus, and it seems like Envy may have just been a bit overzealous, moving into the high ground on the other side, and he will pay the price. I think this bottom lane is kind of um, no an one. issue. What is going on? Yeah. I feel like Lycan or like Bristleback should just be there, and constantly pressuring and forcing this like uh, peak wave. Bristleback is set in a very unsafe mid lane right now, or EG are obviously going to be looking to secure a tier 1 tower. They blast the Bristleback, go right in, but hey, a response from the business side as they dive in deep, looking to go for Arteezy, even committing now the Fiend's grip, but the rotations come out with the ulti. He survives on. They do manage to follow it up with a takedown. Nice stomp set up with the Centaur. And now Moo goes in to claim more. Hit track with the dunk and the blast down of Snake King. Or Ryoya from behind. Nice, really nice heads up play. Like, business showed everyone towards bottom, chasing the Void Spirit immediately, like, you know, go Roche. Battle Fury now finish on Ursa as well. I mean, though, the best way that business can actually, like, I feel can still win this game is just coming down to positioning and being able to kill the supports and the Void Spirit and Ursa. Like, just kind of ignore the timber in the fight. But at the same time, if EG Bliss plays around the timber with his fast weaves, it's, like, it's going to be really difficult. Well, they spotted Envy. Envy loves to kind of scout Radiant's out this creep area on the Radiant side, but this time it gets him in a bit of trouble. You know, he felt confident having kind of vision around, but... There's a smoke now um, from business that Radiant's they showed on top. top. There's smoke going to cut across the map, hopefully to kill this. Maybe they can kill this timber with the full duration grip. Even that'll be hard because his massive armor with the greaves. Yeah, he's already got the reactive armor stacks built up. Does Fear want to commit it now? He does. 
Looks like they should be able to do it though. Ejir on root, but there's just way too much damage coming out, certainly with Moo there. And now the DD, which Envy will bottle up. So EG should identify that they use two major cells. Yeah, they used the smoke because Katrakta also finishes his voice dagger. And to be able to run and fight them, because we, you guys, they always talk about this cooldown, right? Just generalizing as a whole. It's like they use oh. two major spells, let's go fight. It's a long chase for Fly. They don't take him down quick enough. EG could show up. They do manage to blink in with the Fissure, but Kitrak now stuck within the trees. It's still, though, enough timing for them to kind of leapfrog over and get the finish onto Envy. This is a nice turnaround for EG already. Critical asset to business associates in a fight. In this game, Void Spirit's playing more like a position three, and Timber's playing more of a position two in terms of like farm priority right now. Top lane, they're going in. Yeah, Rioya gets bumped by one ult and then gripped by another. The Fissure's there, but it's too late to go for a cancel and save as Kitrak now found himself in a bit of a sticky situation. He doesn't have blink for another four seconds. He gets hit. It's a long chase out, and I think they got him. Nice kill. Score a two for here for business. They'll take what they can get, and they might not be done yet. Crit shows himself now. Lotus Orb now finish on Crit as well. Oh, okay. He didn't go for the Shivas. He decided to finish out the Lotus. Nice. So even if the Spear Vessel does come out, he's, he's already got the Lotus as a response. Uh-oh. Flying trouble. Business note, not joking. They're still hanging around. Getting kicked off one by one here. They just ignore crit and go for whoever else wants to be around. Oh, Brax not ignore him. Brax like, I can go for crit. A tour with a nice solo kill on the clinks here. Good snipe by then as they continue to hold out. Looking to go for that 25 bounty rune. It will ultimately cost Brax his life as the jump is there from Ryoya. Crit thinking about chasing out, but he gets slept again. But the only way he really dies is all physical, right? So... He's opting for a Kaya. Interesting. They're gonna go high ground here by business actually and try to force EG back. Because they don't push as fast in comparison. They're the ones with the Lycan. One, two, already rotating over. Ryoya steps in first, goes for the silence. Follow up there, Crit steps in, looking at first finish off Snake King, successful. And now they say we gotta go. Or Envy at least, pops the TP and leaves, Brax Drops down the ulti and heads out another direction on many metrics, suddenly getting all this new attention. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously a fabled hero on a lot of our significant core players like Arteezy as him and the rest of EG now move their way up north, fly a little out far in front. They quickly 180 onto Captain Fly and take him down. Now Arteezy kind of stuck fighting amongst four without the rest of his team. He just gets gripped up. And that will be the end of the Aegis. Now Rioya jumps up and over to cause a bit of a discombobulation here. EG Force to try to focus on somebody, can't even get fear. He'll be able to TP away. Here comes round two now for business. And they're looking to put their focus onto Arteezy if possible. He gets the Lotus Orb to turn around. Pango could be in a bit of trouble. They're able to burst him down. They put all their focus onto EG now that Envy's here, Spider walking his way through, he's got the BKB, he pops it now, and they should be able to maul the bear. They got him down. It is a double kill for Ryoya, he's able to clean out fear, but Mu chases on now. I don't know if they can get the catch on this Void Spirit. You kind of mentioned the game, just like his enfeeble um, and um, how enraged is like 50% status resistance. He actually removes 30% of it off, so he technically only has like a 20% invade. And Bane is actually like uh, the best at I think a hard counter to the Ursa. Like you saw, he had he got his enrage off, and it's just like yeah. he still has the full duration grip and spike. No, not able to make it out. They do manage to finally get a hold of Rioya and take him down. Is this the beginning of the business comeback? Well, Kitrak is getting close to even having a Shadow Blade as a kicker way to get into that ideal setup. For now, is. Doing the buddy-buddy system with the rest of his team as we hear smokes. Is that smokes from both sides? Oh, double. Double smokes coming out. Could they clash in the river on each side? From the high ground they come. And now Mu shifts up, runs in. Kitrak could be caught out, abyssal, and deleted from the fight. No dunk for you, sir. Arteezy deletes one of his own, though, as he gets a hold of Brax. And Mu has to kind of run out the other side. 
Sphinx is going to cut the next mid wave here. Now if I get this courier, sniped, ward's gone. But uh, your racks are going to. Did you take this? Will they defend their bottom lane? Will they go right for the top lane? Looks like they sent Kitrek back. Kitrek has a dunk if he get frisky, but... I think it wasn't good. I think it was kind of bad that Kitrek showed. Um, so now they're going to take a fight top. Yeah, they get a grip onto Crit deep inside the base. Fear in a total safe spot to get the full duration. Does get silenced there just at the very end. As Ryoya dances in, now gets hit with the bash. And he goes down, double kill for Envy, and they'll clean it up. Snay in a bit of trouble. Fear, though, with that sleep. It saves them. though. it doesn't last. It does come through. Fly will be able to clean up the king. Oh. And now Chase is on business. will clean up the remaining EG members who are left inside. Kitrak, who made the I long journey up. Oh, there's a Roshan buyback here. I think Kitrak just threw the game for EG there. If business actually gets this Roshan, like, all of a sudden EG doesn't have their stunner. And this grip duration and everything is just... Yeah. Smoke, I heard it. By it's fear? a fear. Um, no. Solo smoke? Oh, Rioya jumps in. Does manage to silence both of them. Targets Brax with the Yule's combo. But the long grip from Fear, and it's quickly canceled out. There's that dunk. Does not do a lot of damage as look at Snaking just unload onto Crit. He gets melted apart. This is all business. Look at Envy. Envy, that's Envy. That's not Lycan, that's Envy right there. The big blue wolf right down the mid lane. Absolutely nothing. Underwhelming multi. <laughs> what is he doing? He's not doing anything. <laughs> He just blasted down! He just lost his ages. That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. And now uh, they're just gonna lose him. Honestly, I was just kind of about to say, when you get bite, because I practiced this a lot back in the days when this um, change happened, that this bite is like the biggest debate that you feel <laughs> completely unstoppable. And that's exactly what happened. I'm and a wolf god God with though, an he ages. He doesn't have armor, so he's, he's just gonna constantly melt. And... Lycan is the one that built the Kira, so I don't know, maybe he just needs to buy Shivas or something. Jump up from Ryoya, looking to set up another one possibly here as they cut out Fear. Abyssal turnaround though, and they just blast down the Void Spirit like he's nothing. Moo flexing his hard power here, but you know, I gotta say, snaking with the double damage certainly doesn't hurt either. He's got 45 permanent damage too. It's like going all the way up and around. Snaking and Fear going way up and around right now. <laughs> kind of split though with the, you see the other three guys on the team right now. Yeah, they're like going to end up behind where EG are. I don't know if this is an intent to kind of flank in and catch them from yeah, all really. sides or not, but uh, EG could quickly pounce on business while they're a bit spread out and outnumbered. Oh, he, he used the bite. Now they're moving in. Envy putting all of his focus straight onto Arteezy. And now with the power of him and Moo, they try to take down the bear, but the bear flexes the ult, the BKB, and jumps on the Brax and mulls him apart. Looks to go for snaking next. Snaking frantic to make it away in the back of a BKB. Now Envy and Moo both tag team wolf power onto Arteezy. Look at her jump up apart, and they eat him on up. Dead and out for 99 seconds. He has no buyback. Damn, you could see the power there. Once they were both able to get a hold of Arteza, I, I don't even know what you do at that point. You're just swarmed by wolves and Necrobook. Bissell stun. It's, it's the fact that you're able to get the crit. Oh, here it is again. Heavy damage, and here they come. The big blue wolf powering and moving away. <laughs> it moves so funny. <laughs> there it goes. Boom, Abyssal. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Dead. Love this blue wolf. <laughs> Roshan is up in 20 seconds. Brax used his uh, swashbuckle before Roshan even spawned, so... This is with Refresher and Ags. Crit's there, but they're too late to make it inside, but that is a big Fissure setup, and they can move in and do some serious splash damage. Or will Business hold the line here? They're able to slide on out. Envy still swings with Ryoya inside while Arteezy goes on Chase. He's able to clean out and finish out Moo. Big grab for him. Ryoya still surviving. Brax will be next to be chomped apart by the Ursa Bear and Business bail out.
with what they Super got. Efficient. Um, cheese, Aghanim. Just don't have enough room for all of it. Lifts out, buyback from Moo. Because Fly, flies um, heal and uh, solar test the fight is kind of big. They do manage to quickly snipe down the first Rax tower. Envy commits the Abyssal, gets welcome with his own Abyssal hit, and that will cost him the Aegis now. Back onto the Rax. Okay, There's double wolf. Sink. Double wolf, there Necro Book. Thinking about swooping in. That's when RTZ pops the ult, turns it back over, looks to go for Envy. And then out to the low ground. And uh, that might be the end of their shapeshift here. Moo is running out a bit. They're doing a long sweep around to catch EG from behind, it would look like. There comes Envy now. Creeps in, gets a bite on the kit track. Kit track back pedals. He almost has dunk, but doesn't have the mana for it. But he's going to lose his life anyway. This Envy swings with him. Arteezy, though, the biggest, baddest beast of them all. Will clean out Moo and look to go for Envy next, and that could do it. That's game. Damn. Damn. Arteezy showing that two wolves do not beat out a big bad bear. There's the Echo Slam by Kitrak on the ground. Bam, there it was, Kitrak. All right, you're hired. You're on Evil Geniuses. Congratulations. Congratulations on your contract. <laughs> <laughs> Sign him. Oh, wow. Intense series, uh, a little bit of a stutter step there at the end because of the pause and lag, but uh, regardless, a really entertaining one that finishes one-to-one.